Hi, this is Eric Thomas on behalf of the ODOT Office of CAD and Mapping Services. And in this video, I'm going to discuss cross-referencing using a new tool for the new ODOT CAD standards. So the January 2015 update to ODOT's CAD standards included some significant changes to the sheet cells. So all the cells in ODOT sheets.cell now use microstation tag elements in place of the data entry regions. And I demonstrated that in a video on the ODOT Sheet Manager application. So because of this change, the new sheet cells are not compatible with the existing sheet tools for numbering, subset numbering, and cross-referencing. So we're going to talk about cross-referencing in this video. So there's a new application, ODOT Sheet Crossrefs.mvba, that's used now to handle cross-referencing with the new standards. The application uses the tags instead of the old data entry regions. So this application is not compatible with your current projects that are using the current cells with data entry regions, and it's not compatible with any cross-reference that you have, may have already defined using the previous tools. So the three tools that this replaces are listed in the center here, ODOT sheet refs, ODOT XREF utility, and ODOT XREF numbers. So let's take a look at this application and see how it works. So I have MicroStation open, and I have a few text strings here to demonstrate the sheet cross-referencing. And these are just simple text strings. Text nodes are no longer supported and will not be supported by this application. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the cross-referencing app from the ODOT menu under Sheet Management, Cross-References. The application has two main modes. The first mode is to assign cross-references to selected text strings in the file. And the second mode is to update cross-references in multiple files. So we'll start by assigning some cross-references. So the first thing I need to do is select my text that I want to use for my cross-reference. So I'll just select this piece of text. And it has one data entry region, and that data entry region is highlighted here. That data entry region does not have a cross-reference assigned, so it says no XREF assigned here. So let's go ahead and choose the file that we want to reference. So I'll go out and browse for a file, and I'll choose a drainage file. So under Drainage Sheets, I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, drainage cross-sections. Now I have a listing of the models in that file, and that file has three sheet models. And the first model is just named Sheet, and it found an ODOT cell, and it read its value as sheet number 61. So for sheets that have multiple models, you can choose which sheet out of which model that you're referencing. So if I need to reference the second cross-section sheet out of this particular file, I'll choose the model, and I'll go ahead and tell it to write the cross-reference. So the cross-reference is written, and the text string is updated in the file. So let's go ahead and select another one. And this time, I'll select one that has two data entry regions. And I can see with two data entry regions, I can scroll between them to choose which one I'm going to be assigning a cross-reference. So I'll go ahead and browse for a file. And again, I'll use that drainage cross-section file. And maybe I need to see the first one for the first reference. So I have that file selected, and I can just move to the second one to select the file for that. Again, under Drainage Sheets, I'll pick that one, change the model here, and go ahead and write those values to the text string. OK, so the options below allow us to turn on some highlighting. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. And the highlights are set for three separate colors. Green means the piece of text has a data entry region and a cross-reference is assigned. Yellow means it has a data entry region, and there's no cross-reference. And red would mean it found some underscore characters that were not a data entry region. So let me show you how that can happen. So I'm going to use MicroStation's Edit Text command. And I'll edit this text string. And the data entry region, I'm going to delete that and just put in two underscore characters and accept that change. So this is an underscore. This is not a data entry region. And it's now highlighted in red. So I can turn highlights on and off just using that button there. Now, the Convert to DER option is used to convert underscores to a data entry region. So if I pick Convert to DER, it's asking me to select the text. And I'll go ahead and select this text string and accept it. And it's now converted that back to a data entry region. And I can see, since highlights are still on, it's highlighted in yellow. And there's nothing assigned to that. 
Now, it doesn't have to be a complete text string with you know, a C sheet reference. It can be just a data entry region like this one. So I'll go ahead and select that, choose the file for that. Maybe I'm going to reference something from Roadway, uh, whatever. I'll just pick a file, it doesn't matter, and write that reference. So I can see that's been assigned just to a single data entry region that has no other text. Okay, the next option is update xrefs. And I paused the video and made an edit to the sheet numbers for the drainage cross sections that are referenced by these two text strings. So the numbers have changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and update xrefs. And what that does is update any cross references it finds in the active model. So I'll click the button and it processes and it gives me a report. And it reports on every text string it finds that has a data entry region. So the first one is listed here, it's in this file and there's a piece of text that doesn't have a data entry region and it's giving me the text. So if I scroll down, I will see um, a file updated. So there's the file and there's the text string that was updated. So it does not report old values and new values. It's just lets you know that that was updated. Um, this is really important if it found something like uh, it, it couldn't find the sheet in the file, it would come back and tell you, hey, I can't find the sheet cell that's in that file. Um, since your cross reference is to a file and a model in a file, if someone deletes the model or renames the model, it would not be able to find the sheet in that case and would come back and tell you, hey, I can't find this model or, or I can't find this file. So if you wanna save the report, you can. I'm just gonna go ahead and close the report and I can see my text strings were updated to some new values. Now, similar to that, there's an update cross references in multiple files option. And the list, this allows me to choose my project PID number folder and the design folder from there and then choose a specific discipline and the files in that individual discipline that I want to update. So I can select all the files, clear the selection or individually select them using um, just Windows selection type methods. So once I've selected the files, I can just tell it to go out and update those files and it'll find any cross references, read the current sheet number value and reassign that. So that's an overview of the cross-reference tool and how it works. If you have any problems with the tool, just let us know by contacting the Office of CAD and Mapping Services.